Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm giving you guys a home tour of our house that we just moved into this past October. I'm super excited to show you everything and just give you a tour of our house. We finally have it set up and I'm super excited and I'm also going to be showing you some things that were sent to me from the Legacy Home Decor Store from Texas and I'm super excited about that as well. So make sure you check the link in the description box and anything that's from the Legacy Home Decor Store. I also have a discount that I'll put here on the screen and in the dis or in the description box below so you can make sure you get that discount for those items. And just make sure you check out their website because they've got a lot of really cool things. So this is our front porch. Um, I have Watson here on me. He is two and a half weeks old right now so um, you get to see him throughout this video. but. All right, this front porch, here we've got these rocking chairs. These are Sam's Club. Um, they were originally like $250 a piece or $200 a piece, and I got them on clearance for like less than $50 a piece. Always check your clearance. Um, this W is Hobby Lobby. The box on the bottom is Sam's Club. The box on the top, I don't know where it's from. Oh, maybe like TJ Maxx or Home Goods. And then the little pig pottery on the top was a gift from Sean's mom. So I don't know where that was from. Um, Doormat is Sam's Club. Little table is Home Goods. Um, wreath is Home Goods. This is my little office space, as we like to call it. It's actually like an entryway into our home. This is our front door that you see here. But um, we decided to put up this baby gate here and set it up as a little office space. So we set the baby gate and the car seat, the trash can because. We're a real family that lives in this house. Um, this we have a little table I got at Goodwill for like three dollars, and I just keep my diaper bag and printer on it. Um, these mirrors are from Hobby Lobby, and um, let's see the desk is Pier One Imports, and the chairs also Pier One Imports, and. I definitely recommend both those and I just got some plants that aren't doing so well since our move in October. We're just praying they stay alive until spring so we can plant them. So that's pretty much this whole space the way we've decided to use it for our family. So this is the kitchen, obviously. Um, I'm going to start right here um, on this little hutch. The hutch I got at a flea, flea market place. Um, there's a lot of people that redo furniture there. This is a bowl from Target. This is um, one of a th set of three bowls from Sam's Club. And obviously we have our microwave. Um, I've got some cookbooks here. Um, these little bookends um, came from my husband brought into our marriage. I think he had like a roommate that left them whenever his roommate moved out. And so he got them, inherited them from my roommate. And um, I really like them. So I've got those there. This is another bowl that came with those bowls. This um, is a shawl that was my great, great, great grandma's, I want to say. I ended up finding this um, shadow box to put it in so I didn't have to store it like in a box. And I really like that. Um, these, this candle, um, which I'm going to feature a few things from this store, Legacy Home Decor Store. Um, gave me some stuff to feature in this video and uh, I want to say that the owner is super nice and was so patient with me getting this video out and um, I love all the things that I ended up getting. So this candle is the Sweet Grace smell and I almost like, I'm not going to be able to get it open right now. There we go. It smells so good. Like it's kind of masculine-y I would say, but it's, so if you like that smell, it's really good and it's the bridge water candle company it smells really great um more cookbooks these are some just little glass pitchers this is a um little baby food it's got like a cork old school like baby food warmer that was passed down from sean's family um to him and this is just a letter board that seems fitting since we have a not even three week old um this is just a, one of our home security cameras. This little Got Lemons juicer is from Home Goods, and this was a gift from my sister up here. Uh, we just recently got all, everything set up with the pictures. This is a boxwood wreath from the same Legacy Home Decor store, and I was really impressed with the wreath because I wanted a boxwood wreath for a really long time, and if you 
are into the boxwood wreath thing, you know there's all kinds of levels of like quality for them. And this one I was really impressed with that um, the way it looks and feels. And I'm 99% sure that these are real, like if they're not real preserved boxwood leaves, it sure has me fooled because I'm pretty sure they're real um, preserved leaves. Anyway, the quality is I was really impressed with. Um, and it, she shipped up them to me, obviously, and it shipped really well too. Um, and came, it wasn't damaged or anything. She, everything was packaged really well. So, um, these are actual silhouettes of our toddler Cooper um, that we had cut when he was um, one. From it's, uh, he's called the Silhouette Man. He's out of, I think, Nashville, Tennessee. Um, we had him do it in person when he did like a little tour in Little Rock. But you can have him cut them from pictures. If you look them up, I'm sure you can find them. The Silhouette Man, I think his first name is Tim. Um, and I think he lives in Tennessee. Anyway, um, so those I feel like are really special because they're like personalized for our family and of our son. And I really like that. And um, the frames are from Hobby Lobby. I think that's everything to say about this hutch. All right, so then we have just our counter over here. Um, really quick. We always use cooking utensils, Kirkland's, cutting board from Home Goods. The pepper dispensers are from Target. This is um, part pottery that was, um, I think it was a gift from Sean's mom. She buys us a lot of like uh, pottery things and things like that. That her friends, she's really, like, really big in like the arts community um, in Northwest Arkansas, and so she buys a lot of things that her friends make and give to us for Christmas and things like that. Um, the cake stand is from Target Dollar Spot. These I got a lot of questions about um, when I made more cooking videos. They're little marble, salt, and pepper um, dispense or not dispensers, but just like little holders. I don't know what you'd call that. I use them a lot for baking. Um, and then we just have our stove. Um, this is from that. <laughs> it's actually a store like in the mall, Francesca's. It's like a clothing store, and sometimes they have a few like other goods and it's actually from a clothing store called Francesca's funny enough um we just got our knife block from Target this pig um paper towel dispenser is Pier 1 Imports butter dish is Target um this and I'll show you the other frame here in a second was a set from um Sam's Club and I actually really like this look we um I wasn't sure about hanging things under the cabinets but our cabinets are really high there's a lot of space right here more than like I think is standard um and I wasn't sure what I was going to do to fill the space and it kind of just looked weird uh, I thought about trying to see if we could do backsplash in here or what but I ended up hanging just a couple pictures and I feel like it actually looks like it really cha changed the way the space looked um these canisters were actually um my godparents didn't want them and they gave them to us, but you can find these like anywhere. I'm pretty sure like Target, Walmart, all have them. Uh, cutting board is just Walmart. My KitchenAid, this is just a drawing rack. Again, that's from the set of pictures from Sam's Club. Over here, we've got, so I've got some Big Macs on the counters. This is just a little um, Pioneer Woman cream creamer thing. Um, our little dish brush is just a little thing from Home Goods. Home Goods, Home Goods. Um, let's see, this is Home Goods. And then I just have some little knickknacks in the window. Um, up here, we just have that little sign. It's just resting on the frame. Um, that is from just like a little Christian bookstore um, that we picked up. The island. This is just a pot from like. Home Depot with an aloe vera plant in it. Um, just a little candle that um, I think Sean got it for me when he was traveling. It's I think it's like a lady that makes candles locally where he was at. Um, this is Target. I think that's everything in the kitchen. Um, so oh, I'll show you this. This kind of is a kitchen item. This is um, a learning tower from Little Partners. It has like a base that you can lower and raise and that we drag it over to the counter when we bake so Cooper can help us at the counter without having to worry about him falling off a chair. Let me show you this really quick. Um, up here we have this saw. This was hand painted by a friend of my mom. Um, he does a lot of, he hand paints, mostly I think he paints on saws, but um, he paints those and so we had him 
paint a little winter landscape for us. So let's go ahead and talk dining room now. This is just a picture that um, the frame and the mat, everything, it came like that from Hobby Lobby. This is a picture from our engagement that was our like autograph book for our wedding. Um, so that's what all of the signatures are. My big plan was that I was going to print a picture from our wedding and put it in there after our wedding. And I just never, I've never done it. This is the picture that was in it at the wedding when people were signing it. Um, so maybe one day I'll print pictures of our wedding. I don't think I have any pictures of our wedding in our whole house, surprisingly. But that's that. Table is Pier 1 Imports. I love this table. I love the legs of it. If you can get to see those. Um, I just, I love the way this table looks and it's a really good quality table. I liked it a little more before we had kids. These, um, the tech, it's like textured on the top. So, and like these lines are actually like divots in the table. So when you think like kids playing with Play-Doh and eating on it, um, food and things get mashed in here and it's kind of a pain to clean. So that's something to consider, but, um, but I still really like the table. The chairs are from Ikea, and you'll see we have a few other chairs kind of throughout the house um, that we use in different spaces. We have eight of these chairs all together, um, but we just have four at the table right now, and then we kind of use them in other places of the house. This um, pot is from um, Home Goods, and then the plant's kind of cool because it's a plant that um, our Sean's mom gave us like a little bit of a, a few starter stems off her plant to start this plant and it's um was her mom's plant right that's the so it's sean's grandma's um plant that we now have are kind of growing at our house as well um this is just actually put up on clearance at um hobby lobby and we just got some pictures of cooper we need to get some watson in there um this high chair if you're super curious about it it's like i'll be baby i believe we really like it and then we have the living room so down here, this is what we use as our, it used to be our like little TV stand. We had all of our things in it, our little speakers and all that stuff. Um, then we had kids and now it's a little toy station. This we got um, at, I think it was a Goodwill, it was a thrift store. I think it was Goodwill for $12. So that was definitely a steal, we love that. And then we sent a bunch of toys. This um, we got at a flea market, someone made it um, by hand. It used to be red. You can see we need to touch up the paint a little bit in some places and we painted it white. Um, we just have a picture from Target, candle from Pier 1, a little willow tree that was a gift from my dad when I was pregnant with Cooper. This little, we use it as like a remote holder. It's like a caddy. Um, that's it. I got it at Home Goods, but it's from Magnolia Home, the Magnolia, Magnolia line from Joanna Gaines. Uh, picture frame is Target, and then that's just a little candle we picked up at a state park in Arkansas. And then we have the mantle, so I'll go over this stuff pretty quick. Um, starting over on the end, we've got a candlestick. I've got two of them up here. Those are Pier 1. This is some cotton. The cotton that's up here is actually cotton that Sean and I picked when we spent some time um, living in the Delta. We lived in the Delta for a few months, and we picked some cotton, so that's kind of a nice to remember that by. Frames. Um... I don't know if you guys care. This is uh, Home Goods, Target. This is just a little willow tree that Sean got me for Mother's Day. I've got two of them for one for each of our boys. Um, TJ Maxx, Hobby Lobby. This was a gift from Sean's parents. It's Sean when he was um, younger. Well, how old were you? Like 12 or something. And his, him and his dad. Um, but I know she told me that she had it done at Hobby Lobby. Um, this is just a little cast iron wiener dog. We've got a little wiener dog. That's from Hobby Lobby. This is just um, some photo albums and some Bible that I had since I was a kid. This Bible is a family heirloom that was passed down to me. It actually, it's kind of cool because um, it holds the flower, pressed flowers from funerals of people that have passed away in our family. So that's kind of cool that, um, to have that. And it has things from their funerals and pressed flowers. Um, this little W we have here is Hobby Lobby. Um, I think this might be Ross, TJ Maxx. This was a, a bridesmaid's gift when my um, maid of honor got married. Another cotton that we picked in one of those more those little willow trees. And this isn't decor, this is just a practical item. It's got um, cloth diapers for breastfeeding and burping and cleaning up messes since we do have a little squirt. And, but the box is Hobby Lobby. 
All right, so then over here in this corner, this clock is another family heirloom that was passed down to me. Um, it came from Germany, and um, that's probably one of my most prized possessions. I always tell Sean that if there was a house fire and I could grab one thing, that would be on my top list of things for me to grab. Um, it just means a lot to me to have it. Um, okay, so this is a chair that I don't know. I think Sean had this when we got married. I don't even know that he knows where it's from. I think his dad gave it to him. I'm looking at him behind the camera. He's shaking his head yes. Um, the pillow is Pier 1 along with most of the other, pillow, of the other pillows in here are Pier 1. So that's that um, the lamps were Christmas gifts from Sean's parents. I don't know where those are from. But the shades are from Target because I did change the shades. Um, this, the end tables we bought at a local furniture store but I know that they're the like Ashley signature line so I think you go to an Ashley furniture store and get those maybe um pier one for this pillow all the blankets are Sam's Club so the couches let me tell you about the couches um they're from pier one imports they were not cheap couches um they were a little bit expensive but they were exactly the look that I wanted um, and I was hoping that they would have the quality would be there for them. And I still love the way they look, but the quality isn't very good. They didn't hold, they haven't held up very well considering how old they are and how much they cost. So, um, take that into consideration when you buy couches, maybe upholstered items. I've got a lot of other furniture from Pier 1 that I love that's like wood, but I feel like the fabric did, has it wor worn, worn well, wear, wear, worn well. Anyway, I just feel like it... They take that for what you will. But um, this is from Sam's Club. This pillow is Pier 1. This pillow is Home Goods. The same end table. And again, I don't know where the lamp is from, but the shade's Target. Um, this, oh, sorry, better cut. This pillow is um, Pier 1. The, we probably need to replace these. They're getting a little ragged. These are um, just dog stairs for our little dogs. From it was like what, TJ Maxx or something, one of those stores, TJ Maxx or Home Goods. Um, over here, this is Home TJ Maxx Pier One. So I think that's everything in our living space. Okay, so now this is the door that's out the door between like the dining room and the living room. Um, and this is our bedroom, we're in here now. So this is just our, I'm not gonna show you inside of our closet, but it's just a tiny little walk in closet. Um, this laundry hamper is from Ross. Um, over here we have this um, full size mirror. This is from Kirkland's. No, yes. Yeah, that's from Kirkland's. Um, the dog bowls are Ray Dunn from TJ Maxx, and the um, rope mat is also from TJ Maxx. Um, now I want to show you guys, this is just our changing table, but I'll show you a couple quick things from here. The changing table is Ikea. Um, under here we've got the hatch um, changing mat, which I really love. We just have this blanket on it right now because Watson's so young it's kind of cold, and so he likes to have the fluffiness. Um, this is the OXO wipe dispenser. I really highly recommend it. Um, Target for the um, baskets. And then this is Skip Pop, this little diaper caddy. So anyway, just want to show you guys that really quickly in case you were, were curious about it. And then we have the Ubi diaper pail, which I love and highly recommend. And the other baby gear we have is obviously the bassinet in here because Watson's only a couple weeks old. So we've got the most of the baby gear out of the way. Let's show you guys the nightstands. The nightstands are Pier 1. Um, I really like these. Um, the only thing is they kind of like, the finish on the top is, it was kind of started distressed and it's kind of chipping off. Um, you can tell on the front it's more worn than on the back because this is where I put things and take things off and you know. Um, but I still really like it. Um, but that's, this is um, the nightstand from Pier 1. Lamps um, are Target. I like them because they have a uh, plug-in built in on them. So we have our phone chargers there. And I also like that they have the pool uh, to do it because at nighttime it's just really easy to pull on them to whenever you're turning the lights on and off. 
This is the Hatch Sound Machine. This is the Plus. I think you can only get it on Amazon right now. But I like it because it has like a clock on it, which is really nice for breastfeeding in the middle of the night. And it has a couple other features also. You should look into it. Um, we have our outlet. And then this is just a basket. I don't know where the basket's from. But it's I just keep some extra baby items. Um, you can see I've got like my nose Frida and some hair gel for Cooper and things like that in there. Um, and then this is just a little baby monitor that we use for when Cooper naps in here and and things like that. Okay, so this is the first time I've really been excited to show you guys our bedroom. For a long time, our bedroom took the back burner on decor. We didn't really decorate it. It was just kind of all the leftover things. But I'm super excited because we finally have it decorated in a way that I'm excited to show you guys. So these sconces are Hobby Lobby, and the picture is Kirkland's um, of the, the pig, and the bed frame, um, the headboard, and the just the bed is um, Sam's Club, and the sheets are Sam's Club, they're London Fog, we really love those sheets, and then the um, comforter is the Magnolia line from target um and that's it's new we really like it these curtains are supposed to be blackout curtains they're not the best blackout curtains but they are from target um they're like the sour cream color is what they are um and then we did them on the rings which we really love it just they open and close really smoothly and it just adds like a really good finished look for the curtains and the rods are also from target and we've got those on both of these windows that we have here um we just have a TV mounted here in the corner and a couple more of those dining room chairs um, in this room. The dog stairs are from Pier 1 Imports. These are, if you're looking for a really good quality dog stairs, I highly recommend these. Um, they're actual wood and they're finished with like actual carpet on them. Over here we have the same nightstand on the side. Um, this is a um, framed it's all of our wedding stationery from when we got married. Um, that was a gift from Sean's parents, and so that was really sweet. We really like it. Um, the same lamp that we have on the other nightstand, another one of the hatches. Um, I just came unplugged. Um, this one it is a, it has a different plug in the back than the other one does, and it falls out. And it just it doesn't have as many features. I really recommend the Plus if you are in the market for a hatch. We have a weather radio, um, which is just a function thing um, and then we have a little picture of me and my husband and the fan is from home goods um, which we really like okay so in here we have the master bathroom and this room isn't done um, we have a lot of things we still need to hang in here I need to buy some things in here but I'll go ahead and show you anyway so yeah this room there's just a lot that still needs done but in here we just have a few things I want to replace um, this take this out and patch the holes and put a hook like we have in the hallway bathroom um, in here but this is just a little toothbrush holder it says brush it's a cute way to keep your toothbrushes on the counter it's Target these are Walmart Home Goods, also Walmart. Um, this is as Touch to Light. This is um, I got an Ulta. Um, the bath mat is Walmart needs washed. I like to replace these in here also. Um, we have a scale. I'd like to replace this, patch these holes, put hook, a couple hooks for towels and a floating shelf above them to store towels in here. Um, so that's something I'd like to do. This toilet paper holder is just like TJ Maxx. Um, over here, this is just a little magazine holder from Target trash can. Um, I've got, I'm postpartum, my, I, as you can see, I have a two week old, so you can just ignore that. <laughs> That's just a bunch of postpartum care things. That's a whole, whole other topic for a video. Um, this is, um, shower curtain is Target. And that's pretty much everything in this bathroom. So let's go ahead and move on. Over here, this is kind of our command station. This is just a mess because it's, we're an actual family that lives in this house. But um, this is our mail. And we kind of have somewhat of a system. At least incoming mail goes here. That way I know that I'm able to look at everything that comes in. Um, and then we have our keys that we hang here. This is Target. Um, this is Target Dollar Spot. I don't actually use it as a calendar. As you can tell, I've got a paper calendar on the fridge that I use, but I just like the way it looks here. It just kind of looks nice. And um, this coat rack 
I want to say it's Target. Yeah, Sean's saying yes, Target. Um, so that's that. And then if you come in here. All right, so this is the boys' room. Um, the dresser is just an Ikea dresser. I think they're like 250 bucks for those, these dressers. And they're really nice, but I will warn you that they are a pain to put together. Well, Sean's like kind of smiling behind the camera because um, he helped me obviously put it together. But worth it, I think. But definitely, uh, yeah, just go into it knowing that. Um, lamp is Target. This is a baby Frida humidifier. It's just one practical item. But if you're looking for a good humidifier, I definitely recommend that one. This is an air purifier that was actually sent to me from this company, um, but we really like it. Shelves are Hobby Lobby. Um, this is just a little Cardinals hat that was from uh, my godparents. This is just a little birdhouse Target. This is a gift um, for Cooper, but I think it's Target. And then we just keep his shoes up here, just easy to grab. And then um, a home security camera, but then we have another camera that's an actual baby monitor that has a monitor to it. Um, this is an Ikea crib. We actually found this one used on Facebook Marketplace, and it's the exact match to the other Ikea crib we have. Um, I still need a mattress. Watson obviously sleeps in a basset in our room still. So I haven't got a mattress for in here yet, but this will be his crib. Um, we just have the bouncer in here to keep Cooper from tearing it up. <laughs> um, this little mobile is from, we got it at um, Babies R Us before they were closed when we were pregnant with Cooper. The pictures are Target, and then that's just a little decor from my baby shower with Cooper. Um, over here we have this rocking chair. This was actually uh, my rocking chair when I was a kid, so it's cool that we have that for Cooper. Um, the little basket is uh, from Target that we just keep his stuffed animals in. Um, these are so only some of his books. Um, this is maybe half of his books probably, maybe a little more than half. Um, the shelves are from Ikea. <laughs> And they're actually picture ledges, so if you go to the Ikea website to search for them, search for picture ledge um, to find these. And that little flag is from Cracker Barrel, the Cracker Barrel gift store. <laughs> um, these curtains are Target. They're really um, great blackout curtains, surprisingly. They're from like in, in the baby section, but they black out light really well. Um, Tater's little stool that he uses to look out the window is... <laughs> Um, Target, that's where you can find Tater most days, is sitting here looking out the window from that stool. Um, the chair we bought used um, on Facebook Marketplace, so I don't have, I don't know where it's from, um, but it's a recliner and we really like it. And um, then we just keep some blankets on it to try to keep it nice and it is a lighter color. The black and white picture is from Hobby Lobby. I love that being behind the chair because. Um, Young babies see high contrast, they really like high contrast, and so I love that being behind the chair because I can rock um, Watson and Cooper the same thing when he was an infant and they love to look at that chair, or that picture behind me in the, while we're in the chair. The Dreamcatcher was one of my favorite things when I was a kid. Um, it was like one of my prized possessions when I was a child, um, and so my mom kept it obviously and gave to me and it kind of works because it kind of matches the colors and the theme in this room and so we have that hung up. Again the crib, um, it's the exact same crib as the other one. This one's just been converted to be a toddler bed. One of the sides have been taken off and then you buy this separately. It's like $12 um, and it's just a little to keep them from rolling out of the bed. A little ledge. Um, the comforter is from Babies R Us from before they closed and then if you peek into this little nook right here there's a little table and that is from home goods or tj maxx or ross one of those kind of stores but that's just our little table over there coming out you have the hall bathroom this is what this room is um it's not super picked up in here right now um but i'll go ahead and show you guys in here this um for whatever reason, the sink doesn't have like doors right here. It's just open, so I hung this curtain. It needs to be altered, but the curtain is Target, I want to say. The mats are from TJ Maxx or Home Goods, one of those kind of stores. Um, okay, so then this little towel rack is um, IKEA, Home Goods, and then we just have an I Home in here. Um, okay, so then coming over here. This shower curtain is, I 
I want to say it's like TJ Maxx or Home Goods again, one of those stores. Um, again, it was a set of uh, mats that came as a set. This picture is Kirkland's. I think it's really cute, especially for like the kids' bathroom. It says, wash your hands and say your prayers because germs and Jesus are everywhere, which is especially true in the world right now. So, um, and then this, we just have our kind of like a towel set up here. Um, I probably have a little too many washcloths. I probably did a little too much there, but we're going to go with it. So all the towels and washcloths are all from Target. And then the shelf and the all three baskets are Hobby Lobby. And then those little pigs up on the top are um, Tuesday morning, actually. And they're actual cast iron. I love those little pigs. They're so cute. Um, so, yeah, that's that. Oh, and then we have another one of these chairs from Ikea. You, like I said, you'll find these kind of throughout our house. Um, dining, dining chairs that we use in other spaces. All right, so this is our playroom. Um, this, when we need it as a guest room, we blow up an air mattress and we put it in here. But during the rest of the time, it's just the boys' playroom um, and it gives a big open space for Daddy and Cooper to wrestle and rough house and um, things like that. So let's go ahead and get started with showing you what's in here. This is just a little Tykes basketball hoop. This toy organizer thing is um, Walmart. Just make sure it's really top heavy. If you end up buying this, make sure you anchor it to the wall along with most furniture when you have a toddler. Um, this is from Sam's Club, this glider. This used to be in the boys' room, but when we got that one used on Marketplace that's in there, it's a recliner, so we wanted to put the recliner in the bedroom and put this one in the playroom. This is a um, skip hop play activity center that converts to a table when you're done with it. That's what that is. Um, this toy box was made by, um, it's kind of Sean's second set of parents. Um, his best friend in high school's parents, um, he, the, he made that, um, his best friend's dad. Anyway, <laughs> so that was made for Cooper, um, and don't worry, we have it locked, a lock on the side that we installed so that you don't have to worry about Cooper smashing his hands or anything in it. Um, this is another pillow, this is from that Legacy Home Decor store that I was telling you guys about earlier, um, that we have in here, it kind of gives a second seat that people can lean back and have a pillow. Um, if Sean and I are both in here sitting down while Cooper's in here playing. But I really like it. It also has a zipper, which I like pillows with zippers. Having kids, especially white pillows, it kind of makes me feel better about having white pillows that I can take them off and throw them in the washer, um, especially in a playroom. So I really like that, um, that we can use that to throw around in here and play with. Um, this is also the Legacy Home Decor store. Um, sent me this. She sent me a lot of stuff. She was so sweet to send me as much as she did. Um, and this is actually meant to hang pictures from. Um, so you could definitely use it in that way. We um, have it as I need to get some more craft projects going to hang in here. But um, we just have some other little random things hanging from it. But the intention is to hang his crafts on it. This is also from the Legacy Home Decor store. Um, I wasn't sure what I was going to hang in this room for a while and when I saw this on that website when I was looking at her things that she has in her store, um, I knew this was something that if she didn't send it to me I was probably going to end up buying because it was just so perfect for a playroom and kind of the look I was going for. It's kind of kid, kid related with the alphabet and numbers but it's not glass either. I didn't want anything with glass in here because of, I wanted them to be able to rough house and use this room as a playroom and not have to worry if breaking glass in this room um, and so I like this a lot and I like the size of it I was really impressed with how big it was um, yeah I don't I just really like it I could keep going on about it but I probably should move on to the next thing um, this is just a toy organizer from Target the um, mat in here is I want to say it's Ruggish yeah the brand that's got this brand on it Ruggish Co um, I really like this. Um, let me get down, see if I can get down here and flip over a corner of it for you guys. Um, this is a really nice play mat, and they have designs that you can put in your living room that look like rugs, and they're not like primary colors and craziness and um, things like that. But and the other side is like this cute little um, racetrack. So love that. 
Low looks a little pricey, but worth it. And I think we'll end up getting another one for the living room when this guy gets just a little bit older. Um, the big tigers, Melissa and Doug, that was a gift from um, my godparents to Cooper. Um, tent is just Amazon. Um, we have Tater's dog bed in there. Um, we take it off and wash it, and Tater doesn't even lay in it, so Cooper sometimes plays in there. <laughs> this is from, the brand is Mud Pie. It's from a children's boutique, though, but the brand is Mud Pie. Coming back out here, this is um, for our, at our wedding, I didn't know what to do for favors, and what I ended up doing is hiring a caricature artist to come and draw caricatures, and that was our wedding favor at our wedding. So this is the caricature that he drew for us, and obviously it has like personalized paper because it's from our wedding, and then it's got the date of our wedding. Um, so this is, this is that. One of my best decisions surrounding our wedding, I feel like was... Um, a lot of things I would change. One thing I wouldn't change is that we hired a caricature for our favors. Uh, so then um, this, this is a baby gate that we have here. Um, for This hall is really wide and we wanted one for the dog door um, for this space. And so um, we really like this gate. If you need a link for it, I'll find one for you. I don't know what the brand is right now or anything like that. But I can help you if you need a link for that. Um, or anything that you see in this video if you need a link for it. Um, something specific. If you're trying to find something, just let me know in the comments and I'll help you with that. Another dining room chair. Um, this is just a little rug. Um, I want to say from Target, um, but we have it here because when Sean comes in when he is working, he takes his work boots off before he goes into the rest of the house. So that's why there's a chair. He sits in the chair and takes his work boots off. And then I have him put them on this rug so they don't get the floor dirty and I can throw that in the washer if it gets muddy or something. Picture is, where is this from? I want to say Hobby Lobby, no, Walmart. It's from Walmart, I remember. That's Walmart. Um, this um, curtain is from Target, and then this was left here in this house, but this door's metal, and it's kind of cool because it's a metal, it's magnetic, so it mag magnetizes to this door. We didn't have to drill into the door um, to hang a curtain here because obviously we have this big window here. Um, and then this is just Velcro and it pulls down then you Velcro it back up. Um, and it actually, if you had a full glass door that you wanted to cover, it pulls all the way down and would cover the whole door. So um, that's really cool. All right, so we're actually outside at one of the gates to our backyard, but I wanted to come out here to make sure I got a chance to show you this, um, which is also from the Legacy Home Decor store that she sent me. It says, dogs, please close the gate. And it's a little cast iron sign. It's really good quality. Um, they had a lot of other cast iron signs. So if you're into like something that kind of look definitely check it out but yeah this is just out here on our fence all right so then we have the laundry room and here um basically just this is a utility room for us um this is just some reusable bags that we have to remind me to take them out to the car this is a, a laundry hamper with an ironing board on the top so you can fold this up but <laughs> can you hear watson um but it has an ironing board on the top for if you need to do something really quick ironing like i iron my clothes because but if you are all people that iron your clothes, you know, you can use that. Um, this is from Target. It's on wheels. Um, I like it because our laundry doesn't have a clothes rack so for us to hang clean clothes on. So I like that it has that. And then also um, extra laundry hampers because Lord knows we have enough laundry. Um, we can fill all those. Um, my washer and dryer, they're kid more elites if you're into that. Um, this is just some open shelving that we have. It's all a mess, but this is our laundry room. We're a real family that lives here that we, um, store things there. Um, these signs, we've got two of them. They're different, but they're, um, both from Sam's Club. The, they're just metal signs. I really like those. Um, and it kind of worked out because we already had this trash can that we used in the laundry room, and it matches those signs perfectly. Like, you wouldn't have any clue that it wasn't picked to me to go for them to go together but it just kind of worked out that way and then um we just have this little command hook i'd like to get a different hook here but um we just have that and then this hand towel um i love that we have a sink in here because um with babies blowouts and just hand washing poop out of clothes <laughs> um that comes in really handy and then um this is just a cheap plastic um, paper towel thing that we have here for if we need paper towels back here 
And then this, I don't know what to do with this. This I used to keep in my kitchen. Um, I just have some extra onions and some dryer balls. I feel like it doesn't look right here, but I don't know what else to put here instead of this or what to do with that. I don't know. Um, and then we just have our Dyson. And I think that's everything in here. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you really enjoyed it. I had a really good time filming it for you and getting everything ready. Make sure you use that link in the... Um, description box to check out the legacy home decor store and use that discount code and like I said even if you don't want to buy something that you saw in my house check it out if you kind of have a similar style because they had a ton of just really cute uh things that they had for this kind of whole style so anyway make sure you hit that subscribe button give us a video a thumbs up and I'll catch you in the next one bye guys